This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tour review and today GameStop.ca exclusive or I guess you could find it in store if you were lucky but uh, the Wardon 2 pack from Legacy. Sorry about the ring light. And I like this set. I've already, they're already out and I've taken a look at them and they're pretty good repaints and they're pretty fantastic i really don't have any complaint with this set they look amazing good representation for a mainline figure i don't even know if there was ever third party or you know botcon exclusive or stuff like that of dion and ariel but uh kid me the moment that i started collecting and uh, i was looking at the uh the poster i have um which i did a review for maybe i'll put a link here somewhere uh, I have this poster which contains all of season one and two and it was done by Mike Lorber of uh, What's his channel? The Comic Relief Crusader uh, And uh, he did that poster and I've been you know looking at it. I'm like right, I'm missing this guy from season one season two and Diana and Ariel was on that and I was like eh, Hasbro was never gonna make it But I really was hoping and then when the hero is born two pack came I didn't buy it because I already had a Orion and a Alpha Trion, but you know they're legend scale, so um, I know I didn't get them. But then I was like, I hope they do Dion and Ariel. But I knew that if they did those and I got those, I probably would have to find a Hero Is Born uh, set, which I did find, and I'm waiting for confirmation of uh, reception by the store, uh, GameStop. So yeah. I uh, uh, scaling you know and everything so I'm really happy to um, that I'm gonna have all of uh, these uh, obscure characters really uh, you know from one or two episodes uh, and uh, well yeah Alpha try on two episodes and then the others just one but it was a great episode uh, one of my favorites from season two so looking forward to uh, playing with this set uh, they're you know great figures I transformed them a couple times it's fun uh, yes, they're repaints. Yes, you know, they're slight uh, retooling, but it's to me It was absolutely worth it to get these guys Make sure you check out my voice acting playlist the main feature of my channel something I'm very proud of and also check out DJC collectibles my sponsor Fantastic online store and at the end of this video you can get your 10% discount code for anything transformer and now let's roll the intro Sucking more people into doing your work for you, Orion. All right, out of the box. I'm really happy with this set already, just looking like that. But there's a couple things with the RC mold that uh, you know she's a little flimsy. Uh, but Dion looks really good, and I mean she looks good too. So first, we're just gonna get the box out of the way. Just gonna take a quick look. Thank you for knocking everything down. It's a fantastic box. Uh, but if you look at the show, the episode, this scene never really happened. Like, you never saw Orion in the back and then these two looking at... It didn't pan out this way, but... Hey, Orion, look! We understand that they're looking at Megatron coming over, you know. Although I don't recall if it was Shockwave and Soundwave in that scene. Standard box, you know, you have Ariel here. Die in here, and then uh, you have uh, in the back. Sorry, I'm out of room. Uh, you know, they changed the name of Ariel to this instead of Ariel. I don't know, it's copyright stuff. And this is Ariel. Keep away from her, she's my girlfriend. Don't listen to him, he's just a jealous type. One thing I'm surprised see here, it doesn't show. There's one accessory in this image of Dion that you don't see that I thought wasn't in the box and we could have done without. The instructions are fairly good. Uh, one side for Ariel and the other side for uh, Dion. Sorry, over here. Really good. 
standard stuff that we got since... Well, I started with War for Cybertron, so I don't know if they used that before. Uh, accessories. You have Dion's the gun, which is the cub gun. Uh, you have these little things here that you will add to the side. And when you transform, I think they reverse them. So, he looks different, you know, because of that extra backpack. He looks a little different than Orion and Cup Mold. You have Ariel's gun, which is really Elita 1's gun, but I'm going to leave it with Ariel because I already ordered a gun from Toy Hacks uh, for my Elita 1. Actually, it came with the, uh, the decals. And she holds it pretty good. Uh, and then, then this, this, this thing. The Energen Goody Dispenser. Why? Why again this? It wasn't on the image. And we really don't need it. I don't know. It's just something to add. Uh, we also got it with Orion. And of course Cup. Which made sense with Cup. To an extent it would make sense with Hot Rod. You know? Alright. Taking a look at Ariel. Um, she looks good. I mean she's a little loose. Uh, like... This here, I don't know if it's me, but the waist doesn't clip on anything, so it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to, to, to make her stand properly. And then there's a double joint at the knee, so sometimes when you're trying to pose her, it buckles backward and it kind of looks goofy. But she looks really good, and she even has a little ponytail, which is removable and actually doesn't peg in. Uh, completely so it's always a little loose so I don't think it, it's just gonna fall off but just you know know to be careful with that but I really like I mean she m has m more of a uh, RC color scheme and I mean G1 RC not prime RC as that's more of the mold that she's taken from but I mean they changed the bike from what I see from pictures it looks more Cybertronian to an extent I mean a bike's a bike but I think it would have been cool if she would have been something more like uh, Advent Children. Uh, for those Final Fantasy VII fans, you know what I mean? Uh, those bikes were amazing. A heavy cable, uh, and then on the wheels, you know, at the bottom. Uh, looks good. I mean, the feet, I mean, the legs in front look really good, but in the back, because of transformation, you have this peg here. This looks, I mean, I'm afraid I'm going to snap this thing when I transform her, but so far, so good. So, and I like the transformation, it's a little more complex, there's more twist and turns, so she looks good. So panel and you know, she's not a shell former, so that's always a plus. Alright, uh, what do we have? We have a rotation at the head. Uh, you have no uh, look up, just a tiny bit. Uh, no, no attitude. You have a ferris wheel no problem you have a rotation under the swoop well you have a double joint here because of the transformation so you have the shoulder joint and the shoulder rotation you have a rotation under stop moving under here you have the elbow bend and the hand do rotate but they are blocked because of the wrist guards but they do move a little bit but the sculpt of the hand is really good you know Holds the gun nicely. I like her face sculpt, like the hair, the little blue, and the lips. The lips painted properly, not like uh, Studio Series 86 RC. My copy, the paint is like on the chin or between the mouth and the chin, so it's kind of odd. Uh, what do we have? Do we have? Well, yeah, we do kind of have a. Well, I, I'm not going to call it a waist rotation because you have to move it back and then turn it to get the merry go around. So, nah. And you do get a Johnny Cage. You have, see, that's the thing. You have like a joint here at the ankle. So that for the transformation. So you have to make sure you push in that little pole here. Oh, sorry, not the camera. You have to make sure to put the uh, pull on that little pole, but it, it's, Look at that, it's really thin, you know, so you I'm afraid to break it. Uh, but you do have that. You have a ankle rocker. 
And you have... You don't have a back and forth. Okay. Uh, front and back, sorry. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, you don't have a knee rotation. No. So that's it for Ariel. I heard that their leaders put together some kind of army and attacked one of the outer cities. And now for Dion. Well, I really like the color on the guy. Really looks really good. And... A lot of people say, you know, why is he a repaint of Cup? You know, why is always it's always Cup for Orion and uh, Dion? Well, first, they're from the same generation. If you think about it, Cup in one of episode, and I'll try to find the clip and put it here, but he mentions that Optimus went through the same uh, existential uh, questions that Hot Rod, well, Rodimus Prime was having, and I think it's burden hardest to bear. Same thing happened to Optimus Prime after the Matrix was passed to him. Optimus learned to live with his Geary and respect it. So, you know, Cup was with Optimus at the beginning, so it would make sense for Cup, uh, Dion, and Orion to kind of have similar, uh, you know, vehicle mode because that's, I guess, what was fashionable at the time. Or also maybe back then, nine million years ago, it wasn't... Uh, as diverse for uh, alt modes. So uh, to me, it makes sense. And I really like the paint on this guy. Um, I could have, you know, gone uh, without the, uh, the these, you know, removable parts. It's fun for people like um, Botbender Orange. Like he, you know, does a, his whole channel is customization with weaponizers and modulators and stuff like that. So we can go do great stuff with this. Uh, but for me, I, I, I'm not gonna leg swap people and have a Frankenstein or stuff like that. So I could have done without it. But uh, yeah, he looks really good. The paint, the new, uh, you know, chest is molded differently, so that's really fun. I, I, I really dig this guy. Like honestly, and in my head canon, and because of the influence of Rodimus Primal, he, this is gonna be Ultra Magnus in a couple of years. So yeah actually a couple days because i mean alpha trion repaired optimus in like what a couple hours if my plans work well it's finished you may not recognize him With him you have a little more attitude you know uh down up with the head you have the full rotation on the ball joint you have a rotation for your ferris wheel here you have your more than 90 bend the hands are completely fixed, they don't move. You do have your merry-go-round at the waist. He also can do the Johnny Cage. There you go. And he has a 90 degree at the knee. Um, I guess you could say he has a rotation because of the uh, gimmick here. Same thing for the arm. So, yeah, something. Uh, toe tilt a little bit. And then a ankle rocker. Uh, hope I'm not missing anything. I don't think so. All right. So there you go. Whoa. Yeah, that's the same problem on all figures. Eh? That those pegs don't work completely. Ah, you believe anything? Now let's do some size comparison. All right. So here we have Ariel and Dion with Optimus Prime from Earthrise, and then you have Mech Fans Toys, uh, Orion packs which uh, I'm getting the, uh, I, I said I wasn't going to, but I, I did order the Hero is Born pack from GameStop. Uh, and at the time of this recording, I'm waiting for uh, a call that it's been received at the shop. But this is a great figure. It just, scaling is kind of important to me. So I'm probably gonna put this guy up for sale. Now with Iron Factory Last Profit, which is Alpha Tryon and Cup from Studio Series 86. Uh, who's been enhanced with toy hacks decals and you can see you know different head sculpt uh, different uh, chest piece uh, different waists this there was a little more detail this is kind of just flat plain Jane uh, same legs uh, is it the same toes I feel no it's different toes his toes are completely triangle and his toes have a little angle to it like it's a curve so that's cool. And what fell is a uh, Nemesis Prime uh, from the spoiler pack. That's the Energon cube that came in that little 
gooey putty that nobody used. And I think they should have included those to match the picture from the box. You know, he's holding a Nanodron cube. So, and she's holding, you know, some piece of equipment. Why not put that instead of the Energon goodies stuff? That's just my call. All right, so we have Cup and Alpha Trion with Ariel and Dion, and now with their future selves, Elita One and Ultra Magnus. And that's my own personal head cannon. Uh, you don't have to believe what I believe, but I, I don't know. To me, it makes sense that Ultra Magnus would be Dion. All right, and now I'm gonna put them in vehicle mode and uh, show you what it looks like. Hey, who's that with Orion? Oh wow, it's one of those flying robots. And here we are with the alt modes, and they look really good. Dion is. I like the way that like you have to remove these parts here if you want the uh, transformation to go smoothly. And then it pegs on the side of the leg here. So you have a connection here. Then you have a connection underneath here. Oh, let me show you. Actually, quite tight. So you have those little pins here. So it makes for a, um, I don't know, bigger box. Not bigger, but, you know, taller box. And then you can put these Energon cubes in there. I think that looks really good. Stupid thing here. But then you have the gun. Rolls actually really well oh sorry ariel it looks wow he, lo he rolls better than cub did well, that's cool and i like the color i'm hoping that they're gonna do a toy hacks uh, set for this guy because uh, i really did enjoy the cup one so maybe if they can do something for die on not the same thing you know i prefer a little variety in my toy hacks but would look really good but this guy as is looks fine <laughs> And she's a good bike. I mean, honestly, she, you know, there's even rotation of the, the wheel here. She rolls fine. She even has a little bike stand. So, but she rolls really good. Anyway, and then the stand does its job. Uh, placing the gun here kind of looks goofy, uh, but I guess you could put it on the other side with the other exhaust, so. But the details on her for that, you know, the exhaust, the way that the, uh, I guess the gas tank, uh, and then you have little brakes, little handles, looks really good. And her face is, you know, partially uh, hidden, I guess, but, uh, or not. You can see the legs, but I mean, it's Cybertron-ish, I would say. Uh, it, it does uh, look more like a earth mode bike, but that's because of the mode she's been, uh, based on so she i like the uh i like this bike and actually that's this is my first bike transformer so there you go ariel and dion in vehicle mode leave him alone ariel no and just for a quick size comparison here they are with Origin Bumblebee and Origin Jazz, just so that you have the Cybertronian family. So there you go, guys. I'm going to have to cut this like that because uh, I have to get back to work. Uh, so yeah, uh, so I'm super happy to have this set. If you are a collector, I hope in Canada you, are, you were able to get this set because it sold out fairly quickly, a uh, couple of hours. And I emailed the, uh, or texted a couple of uh, YouTubers from BC the moment I pre-ordered mine and by the time they woke up I guess uh, it was sold out so I was a little disappointed for them uh, but I mean it's that's that's I, I wish they could have I don't know GameStop could have rolled them out like per province or per time zone I don't know it's it just you know something we collector think about that uh, corporate uh, greed doesn't uh, factor in so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.